Welcome to today's video, everybody. We're back at Every Sioux Circuit. We're at school course today. I'm sure you can already see the competition car is behind us. We're gonna be testing this after a bunch of changes have been made. Some slight changes have been made to the anti-lag setup. Um, a bunch of changes to prevent us from breaking axles, right, Fausto? We're hoping this stops us breaking axles because- We're here to see this. <laughs> it's, I've spent more money in axles than tires, tires at this point. <laughs> um, so we've moved the hydro further forward. We changed the master to a 0 0.751. So the throw on this is just a tiny bit. I should only have to tap it and it should lock up the rear now. So that'll help. We, I believe, I was talking to Adam about this and uh, I believe that the, the hydro uh, wasn't disengaging by the time I'd be back on throttle just because I'm not used to a really long throw and I had a much softer master on there before so like you'd pull the handbrake all the way down to here almost so that should help with that um, and yeah um, they had a look at the clutch we changed the master on the clutch because that was sad and and broken from the last round so there's a few like little things and issues that we would just have been solving and Everything should be much better now, and it's test day because we're driving this weekend at Okoyama. I'm so excited. Few days. Yeah. <laughs> Few days left, and then we're driving all the way Even down like, to the bottom of the Japan. Yeah. But the layout looks so good. This. Yeah. It's so long drive. I'm I'm excited about the wall though. Yeah. It's, that it's looks good. like fun. It's wall riding. Because we're gonna have uh, time Friday to talk about. So yeah. Mickey's are free. It's gonna be good. We're gonna get a lot of seat time at Okoyama. Big fast track. A lot of angle. A lot of speed. A lot of left foot braking, I guess too. So. You know, Not my much. kind of track. Not much. Really. Not much? No. Because <sighs> downhill. Oh. You cannot see the is it hill. downhill? Downhill. I'm so excited. Even it's going to be walls. like Sugo then. Even the walls down. No, no, it's not that bad. Not that bad? No, no. Oh. But I mean, the whole track, this is straight is flat. Yeah. The whole track is like down the hill. <sighs> That's why people crash in the wall. I've been playing it on the, the Sims. Off. Yeah, yeah. No, you got to stay on throttle. There's one thing I'm good at, and that's staying on throttle. So That's I think we'll be well okay. On Sugo. <laughs> Sugo, yeah. <laughs> My tuna tells me to stay off, to like go on throttle and come off a little bit because I ride it a bit too much. 2J's made for it, right? That's what I keep telling people. All right, let's jump in and drive. All right, let's go. Initial testing with the car feels so much better. It feels like what I expected it to feel like. Um, one of the main reasons for that is the whole front angle kit has changed again. Um, we're still running just engineering, but we got the latest revision of the kit, which lets us adjust camber a lot better. Um, and also, we'll, we'll get a shot of this up on the hoist later, but um, it might be hard to see. Much easier if we just open up the hood, but you can see the whole kit is now powder coated pink which is freaking awesome and now we don't have as as aggressive camber as we had before i think before you said we had 7.7 .7 or something crazy even nine more point two. nine <laughs> no wonder jeez <laughs> so didn't have a choice now we're like at what six or something 6.5 6 .5, yeah so that's more realistic and the front end feels a lot more predictable now <laughs> um but yeah it feels so much better in the front end now i'm really excited um, I'm gonna give the camera to Fusto for him to get some laps from the outside, um, but we should be good. Oh man, it. Huh? I have good videos. 
You have good videos on the iPhone? Sick. Well, we'll get those off him too, but dude, the car feels so much more dialed. Like the, the Hydro is so much better too. I highly recommend it, guys. Make sure you get a short throw master. Don't use the long ones unless you need the long throw ones. But yeah, this made a world of a difference. Um, the axles feel, I mean, like axles, they feel great. I don't think they're breaking anytime soon. And just a shout out to Siki as well. They got me four axles, the fastest I've seen anyone get me axles before. Like, I ordered them, we they were like, about the axles we were still here. talking about them, they arrived. arrived. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. Um, and they're the, the proper ones, and like from DSS, they're like custom built from DSS for these. And Siki always has them in stock, on the shelf, ready to go. So, massive shout out to Siki. You guys know they've been supporting me a lot with my FD endeavors in this car this year. Their handbrake is probably the best hydro I've ever felt to date as well. So, definitely recommend their products and their customer service is epic. So, yeah, I'm just overall mind blown. This car feels so good. I'm really excited for uh, Okayama. We're gonna go out there and do some more testing and uh, burn through another set of tires. finished with testing for today. Great success. Very great success. I'm sure you guys can tell from probably the outside footage. I'm driving this thing very differently. I feel like I was in the driver's seat and I felt like I could be way more aggressive with this and throw it around and it feels so much more predictable now. I'm really excited. The front end changes made a world of a difference. The handbrake made a world of a difference. Like I just feel like everything's in the proper position like for me steering it in the driver's seat. Just felt great. Hopefully that, that can be con conveyed, 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 conveyed. I think it's conveyed um, across in the, in the video footage, but I don't really know what to say right now. I'm just really excited to drive this thing at Okoyama. Um, I'm trying not to like have big high expectations, but I think we're really gonna mess some people up and it's gonna be great because I finally feel amazing in the car. Yeah, the only thing that could go wrong is the car. So <laughs> hopefully it all stays together and holds out to the end of the year for all the big changes coming next year when we hopefully are driving in J1. But yeah, I'm excited. We're wrapped up for today. Foster's taking the car back to the shop to tidy up a few little key little tiny details on some stuff, tighten some bolts here and there. Bolt check everything so we don't have any issues at Okoyama. But uh, car feels the best. Bye! Bye! Not only does the car feel the best that it's ever felt, but also I feel the best that I've ever felt. I don't think I spoke a bit about this at all like on video yet, but if you guys remember, I was super like devastated after the EDS result. Um, and I was really blaming myself and it really affected me. It actually turned out <laughs> that like the medication I was trying and stuff really like kind of had the opposite effect of what I was hoping. So I stopped taking that. Um, but that aside, um, we found out later that the chaser power steering rack is broken internally and the bushes and the mounts of the power steering rack on the subframe are broken. So the rack's been moving around a whole bunch, which explains why it was so weird and unpredictable and steering so bizarre and just doing weird stuff. And I kept thinking it was just me being nervous, but it was literally just the chaser was broken. And I didn't even like, I'm so sick of blaming a car for the reason why I didn't do well that it like, I don't know, I only wanted to blame myself. If that makes any sense at all, I don't know. But anyways, I was just being stupid. And uh, yeah, we figured out later it was actually the car's fault. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I've just done a lot of time like 
training, working on like my mental state and uh, I've worked out some exercises for concentration and things like that. So I'm like really confident going into Okayama is what I'm trying to say. And I think we got the right people around us. The car's feeling the best that it ever has. I'm, I'm loving life right now. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think we're gonna do well. Regardless though, even if we do suck, you know what? To win, you gotta suck sometimes. Oh, there goes the jack a little. Anyways, I'm gonna have a good night. I'm gonna go enjoy some Japanese food, stay at my favorite place, Mount Inn. We'll pick things up tomorrow. We're gonna go visit Okachani Yashio Factory on the way home and hang out with him. It's the next day, guys. We're at Sidex Japan, getting ready to head back down to Tokyo to hang out with Okachan in a little bit. But it was a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys the new angle kit from Just Engineering because uh, Steve's working on fixing a few little things we found with the car yesterday during testing. Just like heat shrink issues and stuff where the power line that we did on the alternator, um, I guess the heat shrink wasn't strong enough and it just kind of like tore apart from the heat from the exhaust manifold. So he's going to go get some thicker stuff. But since the car's on the lift, we can send this thing up in the air and show you guys the new angle kit and how beautiful it is. Hello. Look at this guy. Hey man, how you doing? Didn't break anything yesterday. Everything feels good. Thank you. <laughs> we got the car up in the air and you really get a good look of everything that's going on here. I love this color pink. The guys did a killer job for me at Just Engineering to pull this through. I love that they did this in white too, their logo. It looks so good. Amazing. So much angle out of these. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it looks broken. It's so much. I love it. And the BC coilovers look great in there too. Yeah, so this set gives you much better adjustment for camber. So we were able to really get this dialed in and we mentioned before, but said like nine degrees of camber before and we couldn't adjust it. Um, now with the new revision of this, we're able to dial it back to six which just gives us so much better feeling in the front end and it feels like more predictable and controllable because the issue that I felt like I was having before was with the, the we had so much camber and yes, it was good on entry, but after entry, it would just kind of like have its mind of its own because I don't think we were like using that much of the tire and we obviously have a lot of power and grip from behind pushing the car and it would just push it out all the time, so. I'm really hyped on how nice this turned out. Looks epic. The car is pretty much dialed, all things considered. Let's just max this out and show you guys the, the view from down here because it just looks broken. I love it. One thing I did forget to mention is uh, Steve built a custom heat shield here for the master of the clutch as well as we replaced that. So. Um, we're not going to have any more heat issues on that, hopefully. <laughs> it gets crossed. We got some time to kill uh, while we're waiting for Okachan to be at his shop. <laughs> we just decided to drop into Nico Circuit. We needed lunch too, so yeah, it worked out. Find a car to drift. Find a car to drift? Find, find someone to scumbag to let us drive. 5,000 yen? That's a cheap rental, bro. You don't even have rentals that cheap. No work. <laughs> Look at this wheel, Jesus. That ain't, I mean, that's a stretch and a half, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so it looks like they're doing a bit of a grip day and a drift day. Super cool. Let's see what we can find. Some really cool cars here. Yeah, stock everything. Yeah, that's so clean. What is that doing here? <laughs> Very clean. Nice. Nice wheels. Mm. S14, MR2, bunch of really cool cars here today. Look, even this 15 is relatively clean. Spec S, non turbo. Size the turbo. <laughs> There's no turbo. <laughs> Zero turbo. NV Roadster, 15, 32. Love those red. Yeah. Those yeah, red Bellino cool. wheels. Yeah, they really pop. Hey, it's a Swift. May would be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Not bad. Another 15. This is terrible. Yeah. Nice. Fit. It's the fits, right? Yeah. This is the new Honda, right? The guy just bought the car. Yeah, probably just bought it, brought it here. 
You see how they all use electronic wastegate actuators now? New car stuff, man. Electronic actuator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Technology, man. Nice 33. Oh, wow, look, there's another one here. Interesting. Rich guys. Rich guys. <laughs> nice chaser. It's kind of pink, kind of. Was pink one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Wastegate mounted on the top there. Stock manifold? Mm. Stock manifold with a precision turbo. Yeah. I uh, actually uh, oh. start off the way around. They're starting. Look, the battery is so big. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> tiny. The, the scooter battery. The scooter battery, yeah. So many cool cars here. Oh, look at this NA. Hang on, I need to look at this. It looks great. Yeah, these things, they always look good. Yeah. That's a nice engine bay. I'll pay him that. Very nice. I love these. They look cool. And now we're watching the competition. It's been so long since we've been to Nico. Love this. Let's go, buddy. Chaser. Projector S13. Ooh. Makes me miss my S13 in the States. We need to do something with that soon. We're jumping back in the car now, continuing with the road trip. Should be a Yashio in the next time we pick up the camera. All right, guys, we are back where it all started a Yashio factory. And I'm sure you can tell, but they are very busy. And I've just been talking to Okachan about some aero parts and stuff and getting all that sorted out for the SR, Yashio Factory S15, that's getting fixed up right now. But yeah, I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys what he's got going on because there's a lot. Obviously, we've got the Z here. Uh, we've got his Ichigoki. So this is the first car that kind of started everything for him. Um, this car is actually insane. He currently right now has metal doors on it, but it's actually getting dry carbon fiber doors soon. You can see he's running uh, Z transmission in here with the Serial 9 shifter. You can see it's got the nice Yashio factory laser branding on there as well. Okachan does sell these here in Japan. So if you guys uh, are located in Japan, you wanna get one, definitely the right place to do, to get it. And this is also the one that crashed into the side of my S15. It's kinda got a bunch of uh, different parts and aero panels and stuff on here. You can see the livery doesn't match on the door and stuff like that. Just because sometimes uh, Okachan does time attack in Nichigoki, number two car, and he's moved the carbon fiber doors over to this car and stuff when he does time attack so that he's faster. See, this has got the carbon roof on it and the carbon fiber doors and this arrow, uh, sorry, this livery actually matches the other car. And you can see here the carbon fiber doors. And there's another set of dry carbon fiber doors which are going on this car as well. And he's also putting dry carbon on this car, which gets me to the point of explaining that these are my new doors for the S15. So Akachan, because he's upgrading these to carbon doors, he said that he's gonna donate these doors to me, which are in amazing condition and uh, non-beaten and destroyed. So I'm pretty happy about that. We got two new doors for the S15. Now all I have to do is convince him to give me some rare mirrors up there that he has, but we'll see. Very nice doors. No dents or anything on those, so they're fresh. So they'll be going on the S15 with all the new aero up there. He's got lots of stock, even a new carbon fiber bonnet ready for me, so I'm excited. Um, recently, Okachan just started driving in the Legend series again, and he got second place, I think, uh, which is really awesome. He kills it driving this thing. Um, it definitely looks like a handful. I, I, I I can't imagine being cooped up in this thing driving for too long because he was also competing in the middle of the typhoon and he doesn't exactly have windows or a windshield. 
So I'm sure he was very wet after that. <laughs> but yeah, this car currently has no engine in it. Um, I think he's got big plans for that, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but he's building something special for this. Obviously SR platform, but uh, we'll get to show you that soon. And yeah, I'm gonna be spending a bit of time now just going through some parts, seeing if there's anything here that I need for my builds coming up because, uh, actually I do need a diff, I need a 3.9 diff. So we need to find something here. I'm sure, I'm sure one of these diffs will make a difference. Pun intended. <laughs> Looks like we're catching Okachan as he's about to leave for the gym. Genki desu ka? Ima jimmy yaru. He's gonna go to the gym. Oh, sugoi ni niku ne. He's strong. His calves. His calves is where it's at though. Meet the soldier. <laughs> Emperor Okomura. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Before we leave, though, guys, I do want to do a massive shout out for Okachan. You guys know how much I appreciate him and what he's done for me. So, if you guys don't know, he is selling Yashio Factory banners and Yashio Factory shirts. I'm gonna put a link in the description to his website. If you guys want to support Okachan, he's got a bunch of stuff in stock. Um, it's all ready to sell so as you can see 4xl as well damn that's actually good and he's also still got the yashio factory puma collab stuff which is expensive because it's puma collab stuff but uh, i'm sure you guys understand that but yeah definitely grab yourself some yashio stuff also if you're after stuff like seven seven like the 740 cc injectors or the 550 uh, cc injectors the side feed ones that drop into the stock fuel rails on srs okachan sells all of that on his website replacement fuel pumps and all that upgraded fuel pumps all that kind of like just good SR stuff that you need when you want to make more power without having to change the drivability of the car and whatnot. So highly recommend checking out his website for just all that basic really good stuff. And obviously the merch, grab some merch. Back home now guys. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely all over the place just because of everything that's happening this week leading up to this next Formula Drift round all the way down south in Okayama. It's a, it's a long drive. It's like a seven to eight hour drive normally. And obviously we've got to bring the team down there and stuff. So this weekend's going to be awesome. I'm excited, big fast track and a good flowing track and layout. So that's where I know I can shine. And now that we've got the car properly dialed and we've made a bunch of changes that just improve the drivability of the car and make me feel so much more comfortable in there, I think we're going to do really, really well. So I'm excited about that. But I think today's video was still epic because we got to test the FD car and things went great there. We got to go hang out at Nico Circuit for a bit. We've not been there in like at least six months, maybe longer. And then being able to hang out with Okachan as well and show you guys what he's doing around the shop and some plans that we got going on there that are happening for the, um, the SR powered S15. So anyways, guys, I hope you're excited. Smash that like button, write me a comment and subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet smash that button trying to get 700k or a mil a mil would be great a mil would definitely be my goal but 700k by the end of this year would be still a really good accomplishment i think so i'm aiming for that but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one peace jump